How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is Big Daddy Dave and this is a map tour for a new mod map to Farming Simulator 22 called Deerlands. And as always we're going to start with the description from the mod hub and it reads, Welcome to Deerlands. This map offers 30 fields, one pre-placed farm in the town with a chicken coop. All buildings on the farm can be sold with the building mode. One biogas plant that can be bought with farmland a total of 16 productions and sales stations, two buy stations for fuel and water, two lake and two swamps, 100 collectibles, forest, precision farming DLC supported. I hope you enjoy the map. This map was created by Carl TG and Pixel Farm and is 241.97 megabytes to download. There are no required mods. If we take a look at the map, this is what it looks like. Where do we start? We start down here, almost towards the center of the map. And what do we own? Well, directly right across the street and a little chunk on the same side of the street to our uh, left, but I'll show you that here in just a second. What do field prices look like? Well, there's uh, quite a bit of range actually, but for the most part, a lot of the forestry is actually really dirt cheap. Like, all these with the kind of speckles on them is forestry and I mean you see how big that one is and that one's only 91,000 you've got 21,000 20,000 so you can do a lot of forestry on this map this is mainly a forestry map with some uh, arable fields kind of sprinkled in between but you can see just real dirt cheap uh, woodland areas and then you got some grasslands, those are cheap. I mean, really, a lot of these are just really reasonably priced. So you're going to be able to kind of get going pretty pretty quickly. But you do start off with just really teeny tiny fields. So those are, those are pretty puny. And, and a lot of the starting fields are pretty puny, hence the puny price. $3,000, $2,000. Anyways, you cannot purchase the periphery. Uh, you can see here where the shop is located, you cannot purchase that, so any place that's kind of uh, exclusionary to purchase, it doesn't exist. You do start with animal pens, there are contracts, no production chains to start out with, and there are collectibles, 100 of them to be exact, they are the Elm Creek wooden toys, uh, so keep a lookout for those. and. You're not going to have to look hard, I'll be honest with you. Uh, throughout the tour, you're going to see several, actually quite a few of them, just kind of laying about in the middle of, middle of everywhere because they're just, they're just out there. So keep a weathered eye and you'll, you'll see them. There are mods specific to this map in build mode. If you look under sheds, down here where it says Deerland Mods, those are some right there. Under silos, nothing under silos. Silo extensions containers or tools you do have one farmhouse under mods or I'm sorry under productions you do have a couple here you have a bakery carpentry and spinnery and was there anything specific uh, nothing that I noticed maybe either speeds or price for these not not certain you do have some modified cell points no greenhouses, no orchards, no generators, no cow barns, horses, pigs, sheep, uh, chickens. Oh, you do have chickens. You do have one of those. And no bees. Uh, nothing under others. Under decorations. I don't think I saw any here. Nope, nothing there. Nothing under lights and nothing under others. And then under paint swatches, you do have a couple extra. So, we are here at the starting farm, right across the street from it. And since we're at the starting farm, let's take a look at our starting equipment. We come in here and take a look under our owned items. We start out with, under medium tractors, a Veltra Velmet 8750, as well as a John Deere 80, uh, 7810. Under harvesters, we have the Deutzfar Topliner 4090H. Front loaders, we have the Schaefer 23E. Cars, the Lizard Pickup 1986. Trailers, the Rudolph TDK 301RA. 
the header tra uh, header for the Deutschfahrer. We have a Degelman Signature 7200 Stone Picker. Cultivators, we have the Lemkin Sch Schmarig. I always have a hard time with that one. 9 slash 500k. Power Heroes, we have the Amazon KG 3001 Super. Under Cedars, the Amazon Centea 3000 Super. Sprayers, we have the Hardy Mega 1200L as well as the Mega 1200L tank. So the front and rear tanks for your sprayer. We do have an Albert Pallet Fork. We have the trailer for our header. And lastly, a weight for the uh, Tenwinkle Pack 1000. So that's what we start out with. Straight ahead of us is our sleep trigger. Through this fence over here, some of our starting equipment as well as our silo. Some uh, nice little barn space, kind of pass through. Got some uh, kind of overhead storage, arch storage, a repair trigger right in here. Oh, did I... Uh oh. Well, for some reason, that one will not come up. So, yeah, that might be an issue. So, it's supposed to be a repair trigger, at least for what it looks like, but. Cannot seem to get that to come up. Oh, wait. Oh, that's turned on the lights. Yeah, no. Guess, uh, guess not. We got some more uh, storage in here where one of our tractors is stored. And we do start out with a bunch of liquid fertilizer as well as a bunch of seeds. So that's nice. And then we're going to run back over and grab our pickup truck. We're going to get mobile. And we're not going to go too far for the first uh, first bit here. We're actually going to go right about here. Right across the street is our chicken coop. can hold 40 chickens. doesn't start out with any. Now, what I have no idea about, but I'm rather concerned about, is if you have to feed your chickens in here, how are you going to get things in here? You're going to have to get, like, a bags mod or something like that full of chicken feed, or have a bucket, some kind of way to just carry feed in small amounts at a time and just load them in manually. Because uh, that is the trigger for the eggs, or the uh, output for the eggs. So... Unless that trigger extends out to here somewhere, then you're not going to be able to feed your chickens. But, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Maybe it's just, you know, symboled over there, and then I can see the little bucket right over here. So, possible. Anyways. Moving on. Heading off to the east. Back in here, right here, is the grain mill cell point. It's just a cell point, it's not a production. Heading back down this long driveway. Here we need to make a right. And 
In this map, there's going to be tons and tons of forestry. As you can see, a lot of very mature uh, trees for you to pilfer through, be able to harvest them out, and be able to do a whole lot of forestry. Just tons and tons of it are going to be available for you. Let's see. So, up here, want to make a right. And up ahead is the biogas plant. Right here. You can purchase the biogas for $1.577 million. Like, oh, wow. $1,577,000 for ooh, one production point. That's, uh, yeah, that's going to be something to save up for. Especially with all the small fields and stuff like that, you're gonna it's gonna take a while. Unless you can uh do a lot of forestry and uh get to a red, little bit quicker than most. Going directly across the street to right here, to the animal dealer. So whenever you have animals pens are uh purchased for your map, you can go ahead and go here, or you can load them directly into the uh animal trailers. Again, you're going to see toys just piles. Like, look at this. Here's what, five of them right here. Right here to our left is the animal dealer cell point. Now, I am going to cut across this field. Otherwise, I'd have to do a large amount of backtracking. I'll apologize to the farmer later. Right here is a spinnery. You can purchase this for $55,000. Heading to the north. Right here is the carpentry. You can purchase this for $65,000. Again, more toys. So, let's take a look at the map kind of catch up on where we've been and what we've seen. So, we started here, right across the street from our farm. When, I'm sorry, right here. Went right across the street, we saw our farmhouse, our silo, as well as our, what's supposed to be our repair trigger. Uh, but, for some reason, not able to get that to work. We grabbed the truck, went to the chicken coop, then we came out here, down this road, all the way to the grain mill. We then went from the grain mill, back up the road, over to here, up this road, to the biogas plant. Came out, went right across the street, and saw the livestock dealer, or the animal dealer, as well as the animal dealer cell point. We cut through this field here, and took in the spinnery, went up to here to the carpentry and that catches us up where we are right now let's go ahead and turn us around go this way and off to our right is the debris crusher now I am not sure if these are legitimate piles of stones something that can be you know used or if they're just decoration. Now, what makes me think that they're not real is that this is on property you cannot purchase. Part of that non-purchasable periphery I was talking about earlier. Now, typically, to be able to pick things up off the floor, like with buckets and whatnot, you need to have ownership of the property that the product sits on. Now, one thing that could be tested is with the mod, the forage pickup, you might be able to pick this stuff up if it's actual stones. Now, I'm not sure. Again, it might just be decoration. So, but something would be uh, worth testing, maybe. Over here, through the woods. Is the biomass heating plant. Cell point. Now we're cutting through the woods some more. 
And over to here, this is the train station. You can rent the train right there and load into it using the silo system right here. And it runs off to Silver Run Forest. You can, uh, you know, sell, you know, bulk items to it. Uh, take into, let's see, looking at your prices screen, you can look for Silver Run Forest there. Uh, and actually, it looks like the grain mill is exceptionally higher than Silver Run Forest. Actually, quite a bit higher than Silver Run. That's actually rather surprising. Typically, you get a kind of that big bonus from the trains. So I'm actually rather shocked that uh, this one doesn't do that. Now, a little bit of backtracking until we get to our next uh, point of interest. And pass by the biomass heating plant again. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. That wasn't the biomass heating plant. What was I thinking? This is the sawmill. Whew, it's been a long day. Long day. What was I thinking? Alright, well, your wood chip's right there, as well as a toy on top of the wood chip pile. There's your cell trigger. Now, where's the... Thing? Oh, some more toys. Did I just overlook where the... cell mill button is? Manage? No. Alright, I don't think I'm overlooking it, it's just not here. That is weird. Let's check out something real fast. Oh, you know what? Maybe if we purchase the ground it sits on? No? That's the spinnery. Oh, it's listed as just a, a cell point. Okay, well. I guess it's not a production point like most uh, maps. So, there you go. So, uh, sawmill cell point. Right there. So if you want to add in some sawmills that are part of the actual production chains, you can do that. Uh, with some mods. They just released a couple of mods where they actually produce some of the Platinum Expansion if you have uh, the DLC then uh, you can go ahead and use those. On our left is the Town Storage Bay Cell Point. Oop, Town Storage Bay Cell Point. And right here is the Shop Trigger as well as Repair Trigger. And these ones actually work. See? <laughs> oh, did not mean to collect that. There we go. Like I said, you'll be lucky you don't trip over a toy. You know, if you if you can't find them, you're not doing something right. <laughs> right here is our gas station refill point, and I believe back here is our water tower, so we can refill uh, our tankers and stuff. Hopping back into the truck. Off to our right, I just saw something, nope. Uh, off to our right is the Godfrey Rin... Rin oof, oh, yes, that name. Godfrey Renauden's Farm. Ooh, I, I sounded really bad there. I'll tell you what. We were here at the train station. Pulled out, saw the sawmill cell point, came down here. Town Storage Bay, Cell Point, the Vehicle uh, Shop Trigger and Repair Trigger, down to here, checked out the gas station, and Godfrey Renaudin's Farm. Yes. That's, that's the name I was trying to pronounce earlier. Back here is the next farm cell point. Right here. This is... Jasmine Creever's farm. Let's 
Off to our left is, I believe, the restaurant uh, cell point. I went too far in my notes. There we go. Yes, restaurant cell point. Now off to our right. Right there is the farmer's market cell point. And last but certainly not least, off to the left and directly in front of us, run over some toys, is the bakery production chain for 55000 You can own that. Whew. And that is the map. That is Deerlands. Well, now it's time to uh, rate Deerlands. Zero to five scale, as I typically do. What do I think of this map? Well, it's got a pretty nice color palette uh, for me. It's kind of muted, and I kind of personally, I kind of like that because it just feels more natural to some of the topography I grew up in. Um, this kind of reminds me of like northern Michigan or upper peninsulas, maybe. Like you just got these kind of back road trails just leading out into the woods, a bunch of pine trees and whatnot everywhere, some of these mega uh, electrical lines just running out in the middle of nowhere, just, just seems kind of familiar to me. Um, but that being said, I would give this map uh, probably a three and a half, somewhere in there. Uh, like it, it's very forestry heavy, so um, it's got to be one of those kind of things that you've got to be into forestry in order to want to do it. Um, uh, but I'm not uh, personally bothered by forestry maps. I like how much of kind of a scope this has. Uh, so much force and so cheap it is really cheap it's, it should hopefully be relatively easy to expand especially if you start getting into some of the uh, production chains uh, to do with like the platinum expansion things like that uh, you can put up a sell anywhere sell anywhere uh, sell point sell everything sell point that's the words I'm looking for English is my first language I promise you but uh, yeah, you, you put one of those in, you can really get some uh, some headway going on a on bunch of uh, forestry stuff. I mean, lots and lots of stuff can be done around here. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the map. I hope you enjoyed this map tour. If you did, please show me by liking, sharing, subscribing, following, commenting, doing all the things the algorithms show you doing that shows that you're engaged with this channel, enjoying the content. And that being said... I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.